we're changing apartments today and we're waiting at the station for half an hour already and the bus is so late and it's extremely hot and heavy backpacks this is our second location in Santorini okay this is the tour of our last apartment which seems to be the most beautiful and big one this is a huge living room with a dining table and tv kitchen and there's a big terrace outside like it's huge and this is Armika waiting for me to take the video <laughs> this is the bathroom and this is the dormitory with huge wardrobes a large bed and a small bed and a tv and that's me oh my god this apartment is so nice and here's the another exit to the terrace wow i think the terrace is coming but it's so beautiful and the view is just a lot of little houses and the sea is not too far okay this time i will go like this because one second ago i just hit my head in here i am very impressed by this apartment it's huge you can live in here at least at least three people i guess if it's a family with two adults and two kids it's also fine because i think this sofa is good as well to sleep if you need it it's just amazing and for this price so we are queuing to take a picture in this location it was so crowded we had to wait in queue for every location we wanted to take pictures and videos Waiting for the sunset now. We are back home from Oya. The sunset was amazing. I'm just like extremely tired because all of this moving today and I'm so glad that we didn't walk too much because we were planning to to walk to Waya first which was like um, almost a three hour hike but in the end we took a bus which is perfect the dinner is almost ready making pasta with mussels and spinach and cream Pasta is ready and the parm is in <laughs> <laughs> the crazy Romica. <laughs> it was an improvised recipe without salt, without garlic, without any herbs. But it's good. I think. The parmesan did everything.
Good morning, sunshine. So this is our last day in Santorini and our last day from our trip. And we're gonna go to um, a location called Akrotiri. We woke up quite late, around 9.30 today. Just slept because I'm feeling a bit ill. And my hair is so bad. Is dry and tangled. And a traditional bugatta. I'm gonna try this now. Mm. It's like a pastry filled with custard. Like a, a thick custard. We are in Akrotiri here. There's a castle, so we thought we're gonna look what it is. see the whole village and now we're just gonna end up at the beach relax and wait for the sunset with popcorn and beer so we reached at this point oh my god this feeling when you're like on the edge and it looks like you have to walk I think you have to walk for a little bit and Romika said maybe we can stay here <laughs> like here <laughs> because she doesn't want to walk back up to the hill at the end of it but we are going we're going to Caldera Beach Our last dinner together. This is our last dinner in Santorini. And we made the leftover pasta from yesterday with butter and parmesano. And we bought a salad, the caprese salad, and some Greek beer. My favorite is Alpha beer. We had it in our first hotel we stayed in at Athens. And we're gonna try some olives, some Greek olives. That's it. It's the last night. Cheers to that. Okay, I'm gonna show you this beautiful bus stop. And this amazing morning where I had to wake up at 5.30 to say bye to this cute person here and she's going to the airport because she has a flight in the morning i am lucky to go back to the hotel and sleep for a few more hours okay i'm back at the apartment and i'm alone i know it feels weird i live alone no it feels weird hmm. i need to sleep now because i'm still very sleepy but I feel like I will not fall asleep. But let's try. Okay, this is my last 
half a day here and I am alone because my friend already left in the morning. I spent a couple hours on the terrace, which was really nice. And now I'm doing a mask before I go to the airport later today, just to hydrate my face a little bit. It was really dry. And I still have to pack. They, the checkout was at 11 a.m. But I asked if they can let me go a little bit later. And they said I can stay until 12. And now I'm still in a rush to pack. I left everything for the last moment because I was enjoying the sun on the balcony. But this place is, is amazing. I guess I'm going to pack now. Okay, and here my vacation is over got all my luggage and I'm going to the bus station uh, the bus was at 12 05 which is now which I probably lost but I'll take the next one which is in one hour it is what it is now <sighs> it's a hill here so I can't really talk I really enjoyed all these days After one hour of waiting and ten minutes in the bus, I'm finally at the airport. Four hours before my flight. And I guess I'm just gonna stay outside for an hour or two 